Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the start line by actress, singer, comedian, and part of the MTV female-led stoner comedy, Pretty Stoned. When you look at the word versatile in the dictionary, her face is there. We welcome Sky Townsend. Oh, what an intro. Thank you for that. <laughs> Sky, let's go beyond the mic. Stoned or sober, what made this experience doing Pretty Stoned and portraying Layla fun for you? This was so much fun because I'm coming from a sketch comedy background. And, uh, you know, growing up, I always would love films where people were fully in character, like Dumb and Dumber or Austin Powers. And so uh, my character talks completely different from me, holds her face different. And so it was so much fun to be able to do a project on a network like MTV uh, and completely change how I hold my face and my voice for the entire time. You know, you don't really get to do that often. <laughs> how did working with the cast and crew on this project feel? And who was the one person that you leaned on during this production? Who was your production best friend? Oh, man. I loved it so much. I was ready to move to Atlanta after finishing this project. I can't even lie. We had so much fun. Um, I have to say our director, Jonathan Hawk, was just such a class act. He made sure that the cast went to brunch on Sundays. And so that, you know, all of, all of everything felt really organic and we really got to know each other. So I really would lean, you know, on the director. And then also my co-star pair. You act, sing, comedian, and overall, just a character. What's one thing, if you did, you knew made all your dreams come true? Oh, man. Um, I think just getting into film. I knew that was the ultimate goal. So this has just been such a treat because, you know, I overall want to entertain. But I was like, if I can get into movies, I will be a happy girl. So this is, this is definitely a treat. Why should people enjoy Pretty Stoned? You know, I think we all have seen movies like Friday and How High, and we've enjoyed the silliness of them, but we've never seen an all-female-led cast, especially this one is so dynamic. So I think it's just, you know, it's, sometimes humor can just be something to get your mind off of stuff. You don't have to think too hard. <laughs> you sit with your snacks and you enjoy a funny movie. And so I think in a crazy time like this, we, we all could use that. You know, we all could use that. Sky Townsend from Pretty Stone joined us beyond the mic. And Sky, it's time for the Rocky Nade. It's just eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is absolutely no pressure. Okay, let's do it. Favorite character from a black lady sketch show? Oh, man. Uh, Marquita, who robs the bank with her gun. <laughs> <laughs> Worst thing you ever did to your brothers and sisters? Oh, it's incriminating, and I can't say it on the air. <laughs> Come on. Come on. The oh, statute man. of limitations oh, is man. over. I was five years old. I, I peed in somebody's clothes in their laundry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you take home from the set? Uh, I took home a huge gift case from MTV that had liquor and gummy bears, and I ate it all before <laughs> flying home. What's your favorite kind of gummy bear? Gummy bear. Uh, anything sour and uh, any type of colorful worm. Any sour, colorful worm, I think. I'll eat anything. Anything candy, I eat it. What's the last gift you gave your best friend? Ooh, uh, consistency. <laughs> <laughs> you released your EP Vomit when you were 18. What song is the most underappreciated? Oh, yeah. Underappreciated. Oh, when I was 18, oh my God, the good days. Uh, you know, honestly, I had released an EP independently, but it was so beautiful because when I had worked on Lucifer on Fox um, and then now Netflix, they picked two of my original songs from that project to sing on the show. And so I think as any new artist, I can't really say it was underappreciated because I'd never even imagined to get a TV placement. So I am very happy with how all all of it was received. Uh, my personal favorite is Eagle, but we'll move on. <laughs> What's one thing your dad always told you when you were a kid that no one would understand today? Oh, man. Man, my God has given me so much good advice. Uh, you know, the one thing that stands out to me is uh, he would always tell me when things weren't funny, and that was the greatest gift he could have ever given me because I think a lot of people see their second-generation kids following in their footsteps and they worship everything they do. Robert Townsend would be like, uh, I know you're seven years old, but it needs work. And I thank him so much for that. <laughs> Dad, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> Best place in Santa Monica to think. Oh, Santa Monica. Anything by the water is thinking space. 
Very nice. Uh, I know you're a fan, so I'm going to ask, what's your favorite Law & Order SVU episode, and what would you do if you were ever asked to play even like a dead body in an episode? Oh, my gosh. I love Mariska Hargitay. Hey, I am she's my queen. Uh, I would be happy in any episode with her and Ice Tea coming to help me. I'd be the happiest girl on earth. I have no preference. Uh, anything with Mariska is good with me. Where do you get your freedom in the ability to do all these different characters and and how has that freed you and your soul wow wow what a beautiful question uh i honestly you know i i'm so inspired when i meet people i think they're so unique and have so many quirks that they don't even realize themselves so it's really empowering to be able to take a skill that i've had since i was seven which is being able to mimic and uh kind of reflect the people that i care about in my life but you know authenticity is a free thing i go to sleep and i know that I am being myself every single day and getting to be as strange as I really am in real life. So that is the most rewarding thing ever. Sky Townsend from Pretty Stone joins us beyond the mic and it's time for two big questions. Sky, you've said, quote, planning the future doesn't mean anything to me, unquote. How has your recent successes help overcome the pain and heartache that you have felt in your life? Wow. You know, uh, comedy is survival. I feel like Without comedy, I don't really know where I'd be. Um, I've experienced a lot of loss and a lot of heartache, and I think the, the only solution is smiling through it. So I'm really grateful that I was raised to believe that comedy is survival, and you must trust your instincts to uh, find the light in any situation. I, I do not know where I'd be if I didn't know how to make a joke in the most inappropriate time ever. <laughs> it's been the only way. <laughs> <laughs> You once said on social media, quote, my life is a reality show, no bull, unquote. What is the best and worst part of your life? Oh, my goodness. You are incredible. This is one of the best interviews I've ever had. Okay. Uh, my social media. Yes. I think the best part about my life is I get to create my own schedule and I am fully free. The hardest part is that I work really long hours. I work 15 hour days and honestly, I've been shooting since August of last year. So I miss out on a lot of really special moments, but when I have free time, boy, do I have a lot of free time and everyone's like, well, we have jobs, girls. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> if it's candy, she'll eat it. She peed on her siblings clothes, but shh, don't tell <laughs> anyone. And she wants you to watch MTV's pretty stone sky Townsend. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. What a pleasure. You are one of the best interviews I've ever had. Thank you. And we'll take that as a compliment. Another glowing endorsement. And that, my <laughs> friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut.